Hi everyone, and welcome to a new reaction by the awesome band Rush. And this time it's a track from the 1989 album Presto. Now, it's been quite a while since I last looked at this one, and previously done an overview of the whole album as well as also breaking down what I thought was the standout track and do the reaction on that. Oh, and let's not forget that I did a reaction to Chain Lightning as well. If you've missed any of those, don't worry, I'll drop a link to them at the end of this video. But on this particular one, I'm looking at, at the track The Pass, and this was suggested by Ben Redmond 6636 at the time. So apologies, it's taken a, a time to get back to this one. Better late than never, though, eh, Ben? So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive straight into the song, and we'll all pack it together afterwards. Something about listening to a rush track, it's just like welcoming back an old friend. I like that chord change.
drum so crisp. What a great track. What an absolutely superb track. And 80s Rush, obviously, so much different than those heavily progressive influence 70s tracks, but that's very much something that's still highly enjoyable. And although more simplistic, still packs a heck of a punch in there. Okay, then, so what do we get from that particular track? I think this one hits you really right where it matters, doesn't it? Neil Peart penned this track in response to the tragic loss of someone to suicide, and he really wanted to convey the message that life's worth fighting for, even in the darkest moments. We can all support that particular thinking. He, he said at the time, and I quote, There was a lot I wanted to address in that song, and it's probably one of the hardest ones I've ever written. Now, I spent a lot of time on it, refining it, and even more doing re research. I felt concerned about it, but at the same time, I didn't want this classic thing of, oh, life's not so bad, you know, it's all worth living, and all that. I didn't want one of those, perhaps, kind of cliched, patronising statements, so I really worked hard to find out true stories and among the people that I write to are people who are going to the universities, to MIT, and collecting stories from them about people they had known and what they had felt and why the people had taken this step. And all of that, and trying really hard to understand something that fundamentally, to me, is understandable. Piet puts a, a ton of effort into crafting the lyrics and for this one. He revising them multiple times to ensure every word is home. He didn't want to offer up some empty platitudes, as he said, about life being sunshine and rainbows. He wanted something raw and real, and I think that's definitely something that was achieved. The song explored the tendency to romanticise suicide, shedding light on the emotional struggles faced, particularly by young individuals, with the lines... All of us get lost in the darkness. Dreamers learn to steer by the stars. All of us do time in the gutter. Dreamers turn to look at the cars. Be a particularly significant section from those lyrics. These lines allude to a quote from Oscar Wilde, believe it or not, where he said, We're all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. This quote appears in Wilde's play, Lady Windermere's Fan. Bit of history there for you. Now, the past reached number 15 on the US Hot Mainstream Rock Tracks chart. And can we talk about Geddy Lee's intro to the song on the DVD Rush in Rio? We'd like to do something now that goes back a few years. It's one of our very favourites. This is called The Past. Clear that this track holds a special place in the band's heart. He appears himself as admitted that... Play in the past always stirs up emotions for him, not just because of the lyrics, but because of really of the, the, the sheer craftsmanship behind it all that went into making it. So there you have it. Another deep dive into the world of Rush. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Big thanks to Ben Redman6636 for the suggestion. I did get round to it in the end, Ben. And hey, if you've got any thoughts or want to request another reaction, Drop them in the comments below. Until next time, keep on rocking, keep on rolling, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out. <laughs>